RMC creates some of the best rides on the planet, but these incredible coasters come with a whole lot of problems. And I'm going to be telling you about all of these problems and why RMC is not the best roller coaster manufacturer, like you and I probably believe. So, RMC is great, but... <laughs> is personally my favorite roller coaster manufacturer. But, of course, I'm looking at this from a rider's standpoint, and not from the park's perspective. So, from a ride experience standpoint, I believe that RMC makes some of the best roller coasters on the planet. But, if we look at the ride as a whole, these coasters really don't stack up to a lot of other manufacturers' best creations. But, you probably find yourself asking, why? Well, let's dive in. There are a few things that I believe a good roller coaster needs to be great, and a perfect coaster for both the rider and the park. First of all, it needs to be reliable and consistent. It also needs to offer good rider capacity so that the line moves consistently and quick. In addition, the coaster needs to meet the expectations of the park, and a good roller coaster needs to deliver on what was promised. Not to mention that it needs to have an exciting and well thought out layout that was designed correctly and manufactured at a good quality. If a roller coaster has all of these qualities along with providing a smooth, comfortable, and thrilling ride experience, then this coaster is a really good coaster for not just the rider but also the park, which is definitely something that every theme park wants to have. Now, while RMCs provide incredible ride experiences, they don't check all of the boxes that I've mentioned before. RMCs are typically relatively low capacity rides. Due to the smaller 24 passenger trains, along with the super heavy lap bars and hard to check seatbelts, that make it really hard to be efficient when operating this coaster. And these trains slow down the loading and unloading process significantly. Now, while rides like Steel Vengeance don't have horrible capacity whatsoever, RMCs still tend to not match up with their competitors when it comes to rider capacity. Now, what about being reliable? And, I must say, this is not exactly an area that RMC really shines in. Their rides are notorious for having various issues throughout their lifetime. And, these coasters often open later than their set opening date. Due to various problems with the structure, the trains, the programming, etc. During Steel Vengeance's opening year, it didn't run three trains, I don't think that entire opening year, which is ridiculous, given how popular that ride really was. RMCs don't really operate consistently on a daily basis, with numerous breakdowns occurring each day. Now, this doesn't apply to all RMCs, and some are better or worse than others. But, breakdowns on RMCs are much more likely than on, say, a B&M. And the unfortunate truth is that RMCs just aren't super reliable. Now, what about layout and ride experience? RMCs feature incredible layouts and deliver probably the best ride experience on a roller coaster that you can get. And they have done this on a wide array of different roller coasters. And I must compliment RMC for the incredible work that they do with their layouts. These things are truly incredible, I must say. And I've never run in an RMC with a disappointing layout. They're all so good. So, good job, RMC. But, these incredible layouts do come with their problems, as you most likely guessed. Sometimes the structures are not built to handle the extreme forces that these rides throw at them. And, adding extra reinforcement to the coaster structure after it is open is not an occurrence. And, it has happened to numerous coasters throughout RMC's lifetime. And, these can even shut down a coaster for weeks at a time. And, because RMCs are so popular, that can be a real problem for a park. And theme parks don't exactly want that to be happening. Sure, you're getting one of the best ride experience out there that you can get, but when you order an RMC, you should probably be expecting some problems. You should probably expect the ride to have a delayed opening, along with it potentially shutting down after it opens. 
You can also expect some potential structural issues when you open your new RMC. And keep in mind, you are completely safe when you are riding any roller coaster out there. But these structural deficiencies do have to be resolved by the parks, but you are still completely safe whenever you're riding an RMC. Theme parks should also expect some increased maintenance when you purchase an RMC. And all of this culminates to where you're getting one of the best rides experiences on the planet, but when you look at the ride as a whole, it really doesn't stack up to a lot of other coasters. So let's compare RMC and B&M, two roller coaster manufacturers that are known for two completely separate things. But you will notice some differences when we look at these two companies. For starters, B&M will deliver excellent capacity, incredible reliability, few problems, no delayed openings, and a really smooth and enjoyable experience. Now, while B&M's layouts are not as impressive as RMC's, B&M's are not bad coasters at all. They're just not nearly as aggressive or ejector airtime filled as RMC's are. And while RMC's layouts may be a little bit better than B&M's, B&M does a lot of things better than RMC. Better capacity, better reliability, and you know what you're getting from B&M every single time. B&M even delivered on a prototype. I haven't heard of any issues with the brand new prototype Pipeline the Surf Coaster at SeaWorld Orlando. And this was a completely new ride concept. And B&M had no trouble whatsoever. It's reliable, it has decent capacity for a stand-up coaster, it's pretty smooth, and SeaWorld Orlando got what they asked for. But with an RMC, you know you're getting a good ride experience, but it's a little bit of a gamble on whether it's going to be reliable or not. For example, some RMCs will have absolutely no issues, and will operate perfectly normal, just they won't feature the greatest capacity on earth. And that's okay, as long as it's good enough. But on the other hand, some roller coasters, like Lightning Rod, be riddled with problems, and cause serious headaches for the park. And theme parks don't want that. So basically, the whole message of this video is that RMC delivers incredible ride experiences, but when it comes to the park's perspective and they're looking at capacity and reliability, unfortunately, RMCs start to generally fall behind, especially when compared to other manufacturers such as B&M. But don't get me wrong, RMCs are still incredible and they're still my favorite manufacturer. It's just that they probably need to work on increasing the reliability of their attractions. And if they are able to do this successfully, they will truly become the best roller coaster manufacturer in the world, hands down. Or at least in my opinion. So, RMC delivers incredible rides, but they're a little inconsistent at times when it comes to reliability, which is something that parks do not appreciate. If you enjoyed the video, then giving it a like would make my day. And if you want to see more content like this, go to the channel would be reliable. Jeez, I'm kind of stinking this. Oh, and if you want to hear about the most problematic RMC in existence, then check out the video on your screen right now. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing 2024 and a great rest of your week. And I will see you all in the next one.